Hi, um, uh, my name is Rachel Lord and I'm inviting you into my apothecary today. Uh, this, these are my herbal tinctures that I've put up over a period of a couple of years or more, actually, in a collection. And today I'm putting together a very simple formula for someone um, who has a dry, hacky, kind of scratchy cough. And uh, it could be a side effect of blood pressure medication, actually. That's one of the common things in certain uh, prescription medications. So this is just something that's moisturizing and uh, feels good to help uh, cool down the throat and uh, help the symptoms. So the first herb that I've chosen here is Fritillaria, which is a uh, Ji Bai Mu, a Chinese herb. And this one um, is uh, helps stop a cough. It's uh, anti-tussle, that, that they call it. So it helps suppress a cough, uh, particularly something that's dry and chronic. So here is, and I've already gotten my proportions, and so right now I'm going to pour 48 milliliters into this uh, graduated cylinder. I'm measuring them out, the tinctures. The next herb is mullein leaf, which is a herb that grows wild in most locations in dry places, disturbed soil. It's a hitchhiker from uh, Europe, actually. And mullein is very moisturizing. It's for what's called lung yin deficiency. It's a, uh, um, it helps uh, coat the throat and uh, also has a little antibiotic properties to it. And so again, I'm going to pour 48 milliliters. Let's see, what is 80, uh, 78. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight milliliters in the cylinder, which is my mullein leaf. Okay, so that's eighty-eight. I have to keep track, and I'm going to go. I'm doing equal parts of this uh, tincture. Twelve, thirteen, thirty-three. So we put in the mullein. We put in the fritillaria. And now I'm going to put another Chinese herb in here called platycodon. Um, Ji Jang. Ji Jang is the pinyin name. The, uh, the Chinese name that is um, said in English, spelled out in English letters. That's what pinyin is. And this is a, a moisturizer. The common name is balloon flower root. And uh, it's, it too is very... Um, it helps bring up mucus, it's moisturizing, it helps a cough. It's kind of like Chinese cult's foot. You've heard of cult's foot in the West? Well, this is the Chinese counterpart to that. So here comes platycodon. Oops. As I pour each herb in, I always put them to one side so they don't get mixed up and accidentally put more than they need in or put them in, uh, put the herb in twice. Easy to make that kind of mistake. Okay, now I'm going up to 181. And this one is another Chinese herb. It's called kudzu root. This is a vine that uh, is actually grows all over um, the southeast of this country too. And it's one of those invasive plants, so-called, that covers telephone poles and fences and grows up over anything it can grow up over. And, uh, but it's a very valuable herb and it's a good antibiotic as well as being a lung demulcent or moisturizer and uh, it also helps bring down blood pressure. 
it has a lot of qualities but we're going to put it in for its its lung action okay and then last but not least is licorice root licorice root is very um cross-cultural you'll find it all over the world used in the major herbal traditions like western herbs chinese herbs and also ayurvedic or the um east indian uh healing tradition and licorice again is moisturizing it helps uh coughs colds it's used um in chinese medicine to um blend and among other things it's kind of a blender so it helps bring all the properties of the herbs together and it too is good for the throat it's also good for uh, stomach ulcers it's good for a lot of things and so here comes liquor shirt actually it didn't come, it didn't come out quite right so what i'm going to do i want to get up to 240 milliliters here so i'm going to Add a little more mullen leaf just to top it off because mullen is a very easy herb to find i i well craft it collect it every year outside and put it up as a fresh tincture tincture is a combination of a herbal mixture and alcohol and water in particular proportions i'm going to mix this together Chopstick. And then I'm going to pour it. Where is my bottle? I need the bottle here. Here it is. Uh, this is an empty 240 milliliter or eight ounce bottle. And hopefully this will fit in just fine up to the top and there we go perfect cap on give it a shake and the next thing the only thing it needs after this is the label and then i can dispense it Thank you so much and come again.